Happy Easter everyone. Welcome to It's Just Me and Stuff. I wanted to do a spring home decor tour. It's not really complete yet, but my spring decor, um, my spring decor will actually uh, be through summer too. So I'm still picking up some things. Haven't finished, of course, completing it. But I still wanted to show you what I had so far and to show you what I did with the spring items from my haul videos and show you a few more um, pieces that I purchased that weren't in a haul video. Oh, that's like a tongue twister. <laughs> so this is my front door. It's a chilly Easter morning and I have this cute little welcome bunny sign hanging on the door and it'll probably be there all summer long. Not much going on with the front porch. Those are the two little bunnies that were in one of my haul videos earlier. We don't have flowers yet and the flower pots that will happen more like next month in May. And then we have my little very summery doormat that I've had for a couple years. So let's go inside. Okay, here is my dining table setup. It's pretty simple right now, nothing exciting. And keep in mind, um, if you're not familiar with my channel, that my entire house is still a work in progress, and especially this dining room where we've begun removing wallpaper, and I've kind of haven't been working on it in a couple months and need to get back to it. But anywho, so this is the dining table. The little bunny picture in the, in the um, middle there I've had for several years. It was a gift from my mom have a couple of mirrored boxes that were DIYs with some succulents in them. And then this little furry runner, which I've had for through, I think, the Christmas before last. And then for the settings, I have this cute little um, placemat right here. Came from the Target dollar spot. And then the charger I've had, the plate and salad plates I already had. And I'm looking for some napkins to go on them. So, like I said, very simple, nothing too exciting, but very spring, I think, don't you? Okay, here is my console table. There's a couple new things here. The bunny never goes away. Um, but over here, we have this little glass peacock that my mom gave me for Christmas. And she also gave me these beautiful glass angelfish very pretty. There's that oil lamp. If you've been following me, you know from my last two home decor tours that I hadn't had any oil for this lamp. Look, I've got oil and it's lit. <laughs> so here's a really pretty white vase. Look at the details on that. I believe I got that from Marshall's last weekend actually. And in this vase, I got some orchid stems. Um, they're kind of like two fuchsia color ones and a white one, and those came from Walmart. So I'm, I'm kind of liking how it's looking right now, and it may change a little bit. Focus! <laughs> it may change a little bit later. So here is my sofa, and from my spring haul videos, I had mentioned I was wanting to incorporate some yellow accents, even though, as you can see, the walls are kind of a yellowish color, but I want to try to play around with yellow a little bit and throw in a little bit of green apparently. So the white pillow and the blue and white pillows I've had and what's new is that pillow right there in the middle with the leaves on it and the yellow pillow here. Both of those are from Target. And then I'll swing around here and we'll take a look at my coffee table which is pretty cute. So the tray I've had for a while and the coasters, but what's new is that little bitty yellow lantern from the Target Dollar Spot. These two brass candle holders I hauled, and they're in one of my spring haul videos, and I'll have those videos linked down below, and they're from Goodwill, and I've cleaned them up, and they are really shining and really pretty. Here's one of those little bunnies that I'm sure everyone's seen from the Target Dollar Spot. I picked that one up this year. And then I filled it with a bunch of these pretty little yellow and white flowers. I think it was came in like a, a bundle from Michael's. And then we kind of throw our, our remote controls in there to keep them kind of um, where we can find them. <laughs> and then over here is this pretty bowl that came from Ross. And just look at how it sparkles. I really love this bowl. It's so pretty. And I think it ties in really well what's going on with this tray here on the coffee table. 
then over here on my sofa chair I have the blue and white pillow like I've had forever and then I've added this little yellow pillow that's act that's um, also from the Target from Target not from the dollar spot but from Target and then over here is this beautiful palm plant potted plant that I also got from Target and I was really excited to get that and I think I got it on sale um, it might have been 20% off I think in a cute little white pot and this is sitting on top of two books that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I was really excited that I actually found a yellow book because um, I was just gonna like buy some yellow wrapping paper basically and then kind of make a book cover a yellow book cover for a book but I actually found a yellow book so that's, I was pretty excited about that so that is how that looks okay so here is my fireplace mantle once again still keeping it simple and yes that hole is still up there in the ceiling that my husband will someday fix so in the center here is a bowl I've had um, for a while and inside I've kind of put in some Dollar Tree flowers and they look better than this before I had arranged them and they look great and then I messed around with them and so they're not looking so great right now so I'll have to fix that and then, then over here is this beautiful vase, yellow vase, that came from Target, and I just really love that. And inside, I placed some stems, and I'm gonna try to get up here and get a little bit closer because um, it might be kind of hard to tell, but these stems right here came from Walmart, and they're kind of like, they look kind of like um, the lamb's ear a little bit. It's got kind of that that frosted fuzzy look to them and those are really cute and they came from Walmart and then I have some of the um, the little cherry blossom branches from the Dollar Tree and I think that came out really nice up there so there's that we're gonna swing down here to the fireplace and I have this very large basket that looks very empty it just has a white blanket in it but this basket is actually for where all these pillows go because I think I've mentioned in the past that having pillows on the sofa they don't stay there they're all over the floor so when my family gets on the couch there is a place for the majority of those pillows to go which is in this basket so the basket came from Marshall's I believe and then over here all these items I've had before they've just been in different places mainly on the mantle and the lantern was in the kitchen so there's that. Okay, here is my breakfast area. So on the table, very simple. The white vase, just I just change out the flowers. Um, have a a bunch of, and suddenly I've forgotten the name of these flowers, but I'm sure you guys recognize them. The white ones came from Michaels, and the blue ones came from Walmart. And let me tell you, the quality is the same. They were cheaper from Walmart, so if you're looking for these, and I will think of them and probably put them in the little in a little um, caption somewhere. But if you're looking for these and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on them, try Walmart because they they look just as great, just as gorgeous um, as they do from Michaels. So I just thought that was pretty, very spring-like with that baby blue and white. I'm going to swing around over here to these plants. Um, kind of have a little story here. I bought a corn plant, I think, last year about this time, and I killed half of it. <laughs> There's two stalks, and like the tallest stalk actually died, and the shorter one lived, and that's what this one is. So I bought another one from Walmart this year and added it to this one. So there are three stalks, as you can see. And I did some reading, and hopefully I won't kill this one. I've also added a live snake plant. I hear these are really easy to care for, very low maintenance, and that's what I need since I'm kind of a plant killer. So, and I love how it looks. You know, these pattern plants, like the snake plants and stuff, are really trending in the faux. But, you know, faux can be kind of expensive, so if you can keep a real one alive, like I'm trying to do, you may want to look into that. And the um, pot that I purchased um, right here is from Ross. And then we'll go over here and I have another live plant and I forget the name of this one but it also came from Walmart it was five dollars supposed to be very low maintenance low light the the um, pot here 
which kind of looks like marble. It's a faux marble, came from Walmart. So I just kind of set it there. I thought it was, it needed something on this table. This table is a catch-all table for purses and things like that. So I don't want to like decorate this table because I do need that space free. But it was nice to kind of put a plant right there on the side to at least kind of, you know, make it look a little bit better. Since I was talking about plants, here's another plant over here. Um, this one has a name I can't really pronounce, but it's it's pretty toxic. I don't really like it that much, so I'm going to take it to work <laughs> so because I think it'll be safer there. Um, but it's really pretty. This was $5 from Walmart also. The plant pot is actually from the Dollar Tree, and I spray painted it gold, and it came out really nice. I mean, look at, you know, with the texture of the pot. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to take that to work and decorate my desk with it. So we're going to move around over here to the candle I am burning right now, which is from Bath & Body Works, and it's called Georgia Peach. And then over here on this side, we have another little small snake plant. This one was also $5 from um, Walmart, sorry. And the little plant pot it is in came from the Target Dollar Spot. And these these plants, I these pots, I really wanted to get another one planter, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, but they're just like gone. I think you know, for five bucks, they had some different colors. They were really cute, as you can see. And people just grabbed them up, snatched them up. Um, I don't know what this trash is back here. <laughs> it's funny. But anyway, <laughs> we have these two little bunnies. Well, you can't quite see the other one. The other one's over there sitting up right here. And I got these a couple weeks ago from Family Dollar because I saw people hauling them from Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. And I ran right out and I was glad to find two of these little bitty bunnies that are similar to the Target bunnies. And like I said, it's not necessarily Easter for me. Bunnies are a year-round item of decor for me. Um, and then here's my lantern, which I put some fern leaves in and a few little succulents. That's an arrangement I'm working on that's not quite complete yet, but it's coming along nicely, I think. Hanging on my oven is this cute little dish towel um, with a little bunny on it. And I've hauled this actually last year, and it normally was hanging on my bar cart, and I just thought it would look cute right here on the oven. I'm gonna swing around over here to this corner where I have a cute little tray. The tray is from the Target Dollar Spot. And of course, another one of those cute little white porcelain bunnies. And then they have a little faux succulent plant. And then behind that is a little sign that says, every day is a fresh start. That's also from the Target Dollar Spot. And that pretty much does it. Like I said, not a whole lot, very simple. And it's something I'm still working on because my spring and summer tie in together. So I won't take out all the spring stuff and replace with summer. I'll just be adding, incorporating summer items into it. And you guys will get to see more of that later on in the summer. Thank you for watching. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you all again soon.